Hey everybody, so I know this is, it's a different style video, but I honestly, I feel like God's been putting this on my heart to just kind of talk to you guys and kind of show you Jesus' love. And uh, even if you're not a Christian or you don't believe in God, just hear me out and uh, maybe you guys can listen still. If not, it's alright, but I would love for you to listen. So, I mean, I have so many of you guys on this channel now, I never expected to ever have a, almost 150,000 subscribers first off. Um, but you know, I've always put verses in my videos and, uh, I put them in the comments and a lot of you guys actually, you know, you actually like them and I do hope that it, um, it helps you guys in some ways or you see a verse or it encourages you or maybe it makes you feel a little better for feeling down or anything like that. Um, and honestly, when I turned this camera on, I don't really, I didn't really know what I was going to say. And, uh, so I'm just being completely real with you. I don't have a skit or anything. I have, uh, four verses on the screen here kind of talking about Jesus and uh, things that he said. So one of the first things is, uh, I want to read a verse for you guys. It's John 3, 16 and 17. It says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. And then 17 says, For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. So what God did was he sent his Son Jesus through Mary. Mary had Jesus. And uh, Jesus is God's son, obviously. And when he went to the cross, he died on the cross for you guys' sin, for everything that you've done bad, for everything you've done bad. If, have you ever stolen anything? If you've stolen even one thing, if have you have you ever lied? You know, I mean, have you ever? If you're older, have you ever looked at a woman, and or a guy, if you're a girl or whatever, and thought, man, you know, you, they're good looking or whatever. So I mean, if you look at the Ten Commandments. You've already broken multiple. You're a thief. You're a liar. You've looked at someone with lust. And uh, I mean, in God's eyes, even doing things that we think are so simple, it makes us sinners because we're not holy and we're not perfect. Jesus was the only one to ever walk the earth that was perfect. And uh, so, I mean, if you were to be judged just off those three things on Judgment Day by God, you know, if he, would you think that you are guilty or would you think that you are not guilty? I mean, you would think that you're guilty because you already broke God's laws, the Ten Commandments. And uh, that's already just the simple, I mean, th things that we don't even think are sins practically, or we don't even act on it, or it doesn't really register, I mean, we've already sinned. So Jesus came, and he died on the cross, and he, uh, he, took, the punishment for, he took the punishment for our sin when he was hanging on the cross. And um, this is another verse that says, John 3, 3, it says, Jesus answered him, Truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. So what that pretty much is saying is you can't get to you can't get to heaven through good works. You can't get to heaven through being good. Yes, that's all good things and that comes with being saved and uh, having Jesus as your savior and your lord, but those good works aren't just going to get you to heaven. You know, you're going to get there and Jesus could say depart from me, I never knew you. And that's honestly terrifying. That's super scary. Or if you if you are saved, you love Jesus and you 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 put your life for him, you know, well done, my good and faithful servant. That is what you want to hear when you die and you meet Jesus. You meet God face to face on Judgment Day. What do you want to hear? I obviously, I want to hear that. So um, that's another one. He says you have to be born again. And what being born again means is means that you believe that Jesus died on the cross for your sins to save you. And it means that you believe that he rose from the dead three days later and that he's the only true living God. I have another verse for you guys here. It's Matthew 6, 19 to 21. It says, uh, Do not lay up yourselves for treasure on earth, where moth and rust destroy, and where thieves break in and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasure in heaven, where neither moth nor rust destroy, and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is there, your heart will also. So he's pretty much saying, don't count on money on the earth, don't count on, you know, things of this world, but focus on God, focus on him, focus on love, focus on preaching the word, focus on, you know, helping out others, because all those things, they're going to, the, the more you do on earth that are good, you know, when you help, you preach the word of God, it's building up your treasures in heaven. It's not, it's not building up down here, down on earth, it's only temporary. You know, we're only here for the span of 120 years max, always. And most people die before that. So that's what he's saying there. 
And on this verse, it says, Romans 5.1, it says, Therefore, since we have been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. So when you have faith that Jesus died on the cross, you become saved, you're born again, and you have Jesus in your heart. The Holy Spirit comes into you, and he saves you. And it says, therefore, since we've been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. So that means God is dwelling in us, and he loves us. And I hope you guys got something out of this today. And if any of you guys uh, do want to be saved, or you do believe Jesus, um, you know, is the Savior, he's the Lord, um, all you have to do is pray. I'll pray with you guys if you guys want to pray along. You guys are more than, you know, welcome to pray along with me. And uh, pretty much, even if you feel like any sin you've done is too bad, it's nothing, nothing's too bad. Nothing's too bad. Anyone can be saved. It doesn't matter if you've killed someone. It doesn't matter if you've done the most minuscule sin, you know. Anyone can be saved by the blood of Jesus. That's why he came down. That's why he died. And that's why he rose from the dead to save you. So if you guys do want to be saved, all you guys have to do is pray with me. You guys can just close your eyes. You can watch the screen. It really doesn't matter. You guys can just pray after me. You just, you know, you say, Dear Lord, I know you died for me on the cross. I know you came and you saved me, Jesus. I love you. I know you rose from the dead. And I want you to come into my heart. I want you to save me. And I want you to be my Lord. I want you to be my Savior. Help me. Help me be better. You know, just really, you know, pray for forgiveness. Ask God to forgive you of your sins and to save you. And he will do that. And I can assure you, a weight will be lifted off your shoulders. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, you know, please give the video a thumbs up if you guys want me to do another one of these videos. I really didn't know what I was going to say, but, you know, as time went on, it all came to me. So... If you guys did get saved or you do believe in Jesus, you know, if you guys got saved or anything like that, guys, please tell me in the comment section below. I'm going to be reading through these comments and I just want you guys to know that I love you, that I hope you guys all have a great night and that God will bless each and every one of you.